Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at WheatPeat, RealAgriculture.com. And it's early July 2017. The wheat markets have gone just crazy. So lots of guys, they want to call wheat poverty grass. Not right now, baby. Wheat is wonderful. Big issue, high protein wheat. Looks like it's going to bring big returns this year. We're having the biggest problems in the high protein wheat areas. So if I'm a Western Canadian grower or I'm a spring wheat grower here in Ontario, I'm looking at wheat that's just kind of heading out, it's just pollinating, or maybe it's not quite that far along. All of a sudden, I'm looking at my program saying, can I make sure I'm gonna get high protein wheat this year? What are the management things that I can do? Well, of course, fusarium fungicides, always, 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 you gotta spray a fusarium fungicide if it's at that stage, that pollination stage, because you can't have fusarium toxins in the wheat and, and get it into that milling stream, so that's a for sure but that's sort of a given, what else can I do? Well, what's really interesting is if you look at the data, we can put nitrogen on. Nitrogen drives protein. Protein is one six nitrogen. So if you're looking at a great crop, look at your nitrogen program. And if you don't have enough, go in and put some nitrogen on about 10 days after heading. And we call that post-anthesis nitrogen. Worldwide, they do that. They do it in England, they do it in, the, in France. We've done it in Ontario. There's been some trials in Western Canada. It's not perfect, but by golly, if anything will increase protein. So be careful. You're gonna dribble on 28%. We're really worried about doing very much leaf damage. We need those leaves to photosynthesize to make that big yield. It's no good having low yield and high protein. That doesn't work. So be really careful. Try to do it at night. Try to cut it with water. Try to do it on a high humidity day. But you need at least 30 pounds to give you that protein boost. So 30 pounds of actual nitrogen. Other guys have asked, what about playing around with some you know, of those safer nitrogen products going in with just a pound or two of nitrogen? Do they work? Yeah, so they're, you really gotta look at how much nitrogen are you putting on versus how much it takes to boost that nitrogen in the grain. So if you look across the research data, you average everything together, could they increase your protein by 0.1 or 0.2% when we put on some of those, those safer, easier nitrogen products? Yeah, but you're not gonna get a half a percent or three quarters of a percent. It takes more nitrogen to do that. Can you do it with dry urea or with one of those other dry forms of nitrogen fertilizer? Yes, you can. If you can travel through on your same tracks, not tramp and do a good job of spreading as long as you get the rainfall to move it into the soil. Remember, you're well aware actually, you gotta have it in the soil to get the roots to pick it up. And so that's the real limitation. Easier with a liquid nitrogen like 28 or 32 because it dissolves in the soil surface a little bit more. The other one that some people use is dissolved urea. We'll link a sheet on how to make dissolved urea. Be really careful. It's really, really takes heat, right? So we have frozen lines mixing urea into the water as it goes in and into the sprayer or into the tank. So be really careful there, but you wanna make sure you make protein because there's gonna be big, big protein premiums. It's all about more nitrogen. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, get that protein.